Hi everyone. First of all, I'd like to introduce myself. I'm Hisham Hassan Bakr, a Java developer from Egypt. Today I will show you how to download, install and use all-in-one remote. All-in-one remote consists of two parts. First part is the Android application that you should install in your Android phone. You can get it from Android Market. Just search for all-in-one remote on Android Market and download it on your phone. Second part is a PC server. You can download it from my uh, my website egmasters.hishambakr.com navigate to applications page and navigate to download page you have two options windows and linux for this demo i will use windows so i will download this I will run the installer now I have a shortcut on desktop I will run it here you have BCIB now we should start our application on phone As you can see, you should put BCIB on your Android phone and press connect. I have problems with the application that show Android phone. Okay, here is it. We have mouse pad, game pad, MP3 player, and feedback section. Let's start by mouse pad. As you can see, can move your mouse you have normal mouse and scroll and right click left click and keyboard ok let's turn back to main menu we have gamepad you have 8 buttons up, down, left, right and A, W, D, S for this version you can't customize Android application but in any game setting you can customize it to use these buttons for example we have uh, grid 
you can use buttons to play it Okay, let's re return back to main menu. Mm. We have M3 player. Yeah. When you first and first time enter M3 player. You will find no mp3 files okay you should add mp3 folders on your pc here um, so you should press menu and select manage pc mp3 directories okay and first time you don't have any mp3 folders or directories so you should add mp3 directories by selecting menu add directory now you have bc directories you can navigate and then for example i will enter c and i have a folder here called mb3 files you can navigate inside folders but if you want to add folder you should long press on it you'll have a pop-up menu select add directory now you have a folder you can add another folder okay navigate and select another folder turning back you can remove this folder by long press on it and select remove directory okay we will return back now we have number of mb3 files we will select one of them As you can see, when you select M3 file, it will be loaded from your PC into your mobile for first time. But you will not wait until it fully loaded. Just two seconds, and you will start listening to M3 file. As you can see, you can control M3 file. You can play, pause, and forward and backward ok but if mb3 file is very big you will start listening after 2 seconds but you can't control it until it fully loaded mb3 file will be loaded once if you played it again it will be played directly because it is cached in your mobile when you exit application, all cached files will be removed. Let's um, test a big file, for example, this. As you can see, you will start to listen to this file even if it didn't download it yet in your mobile. Once downloading finished, Now you can play for and navigate or switch to any second in mb3 file. Last thing, feedback. As your satisfaction is our target, I did my best to make feedback as easy as possible. So now from inside your mobile application, you can send me your feedback. As you can see, this form of feedback. But as I said before, I want it to be as easy as possible. So all these fields are optional. I don't care about this information. I care about your feedback. So if you submit feedback, it will not send until 
you enter feedback field so please just give me your feedback ideas improvements or issues you've hissed even if you said it is bad or it is good just give me one word and submit your feedback I'm waiting your feedback and any ideas you have I will do my best to implement it and add it in new versions thank you very much